Hi guys, I'm Rachel. Thanks for watching. If you're new or returning, welcome and welcome back. This is part two of my spring perfume recommendations. If you missed part one, I will link it in the cards for you and the description box. Let's hop right in. As always, everything is listed in the description box. Please subscribe and hit the notification bell. We are trying to reach the masses yet. Now let's start with a sexy ass tea scent. Chris Collins African Rubos. Oh my fucking God. Oh. So this was gifted to me by Chris Collins and this is one of the sexiest tea perfume I have ever smelled. So if you are a tea lover, definitely check this one out. I have never smelled anything like that. And tea, me saying that a tea perfume is sexy, that says it all. It's smoky, it's woody, it's a little herbal, it's creamy in the dry down. It's a masterpiece. And look at the dent. I've only had this perfume maybe about two weeks. I've been wearing it over and over and over. I wore it last week and the weather was really nice and like nice and breezy. And I kept, as the wind blew, I kept getting this perfume. I just kept falling over and over in love with it. I smelled so good. And I'm a person who loves to layer perfumes, but this perfume does not need to be layered because I don't want to spoil anything or change anything about this perfume. It's just masterpiece in my opinion. Chris definitely knew what he was doing with this perfume and I did see an interview with him talking about that. He's not a coffee lover, he's a tea lover and he felt with this African Rubos tea while um, during his travels and he did a really good job with this perfume. He knew what he wanted. He this has Rubos tea, Tonka, Emotel and spices. It has this freshness. It's a little spicy, a little smoky. Right now it's creamy, but it's also not too sweet. I don't know if I'm doing this perfume justice. I feel like I'm not, I'm not able to put how this perfume smells or how it makes me feel into words. It's just so good. Have any of you guys seen this TikTok with this guy talking about, oh, y'all bitches coming in here and talking about some oods of goods and whatever. Bitch, does the perfume smell good? This smells good. <laughs> It sounds good. So good when the wind blows, it just wafts around you so beautifully. It has amazing projection and longevity. It lasts till the next day. Trust me. Chris did a wonderful job. African Rubios by Chris Collins. You can't be surprised that Armani My Way Intense is in here. This, this is another one that I need a backup of immediately. The entire Armani My Way line, I love. I've tried them all and I love them all i feel like anyone can find one that they actually love that stands out to them this is for all my floral girlies again the tuberose and orange blossom lovers out there i also know that many of you hate tuberose but it's so well done and well blended in here it's feminine it's sweet it's elegant the tuberose is what bring this balance to the sweetness in the perfume it opens up a little citrus seed and you get this bubblegum sweetness from the tuberose and the sandalwood in the dry down that gives it just enough creaminess it's quite long lasting and it's perfect for day or night, brunch, whatever you want to do, Amani My Way is there for you. If you're someone that likes vanilla perfumes but do not like the edible vanilla perfumes, you need to try this vanilla perfume, Odwell by Diptyque. Odwell by Diptyque. This is the vanilla perfume for those of us who likes a little greenness in their perfumes. And for those of us who just do not like an edible vanilla perfume or we just want a mixture of vanilla perfumes in our collection. It's a very aromatic green vanilla. It's fresh, it's clean, it's refreshing. There's black tea, juniper, musk, saffron. And you cannot convince me that this is not how fairies smell like. No one can, con can convince me of that. No one can convince me of that. This is what fairies smell like. You heard it here first. It's a pretty unique green vanilla and it's not for everyone. If you're interested, I would always advocate for sampling first. The longevity and projection is pretty moderate. You get about five hours wearing from this one. Oudwell by Diptyque. The means Bravi. I smelled this perfume last year at Scent Explore and it was love at first sniff. And I was fortunate enough that the brand sent it over to me. This is Gourmand done right. This is my type of Gourmand. It's very unique. I've mentioned I am not the biggest Gourmand lover. This is Gourmand done right, people. Right. So I put the notes up for you, but the walnut, the honey, the ginger, the milk, the bitter orange is what really stands out to me in this perfume. Oh my God, this perfume is so good. I know there are other notes in there like the tuberose, saffron, vanilla, stuff like that, but those that I mentioned earlier is what I get. I get this, this walnut milk and the honey and the ginger. And I love ginger in my perfumes. I, I fucking love ginger. The dry down is very luxurious and kind of soapy. And there's something about this perfume that just gives me nostalgia. It's a compliment getter. It lasts forever. I've never worn this perfume and never received a compliment. Amazing projection and longevity. 
that means bravi check it out if you liked victor and ralph floral bomb but you wanted something a little more elevated or you just did not like victor and ralph floral bomb like i did you need montal's sweet flowers now i had to do a little surgery on my bottle i do not know what happened i just saw it leaking and there was a little hole on the side oh my god i need to transfer this to another bottle i have to order a bottle for it but i literally stole it like this if i put it any other hole it will leak out and this is a full bottle oh my god i can't believe this happened to my baby I was saying this is a great alternative for Victor and Ralph flower bomb. It's a very sweet perfume. I mean, it says sweet flower. It's a little spicy from the ginger and the pepper, slightly powdery. There's a violet, jasmine, and I also get some patchouli and oak moss in here. This is just a fun, playful, feminine scent, and it doesn't smell like your typical Montal DNA either. It's also not a very complex perfume. But you need those perfumes in your collection. Not everything has to be out there and, and has depth and character and has to be complex. You need those simple perfumes to balance out your collection. Take it from me. I was someone who was just all about depth and character and strong, strong, strong. And there was just no balance to my collection. But those perfumes are easy reach. You need those perfumes to balance out your collection, especially if you're a collector. Of course, it's Montal. There's great longevity and projection. You get about a good seven, eight hours, a whole day of wear with good projection and longevity. Montal, sweet flowers. A nice sick bottle. A berry hair elixir. When I first smelled this perfume, I thought it wasn't for me. But like I mentioned earlier, you need those simple, easy reach perfumes in your collection to add balance to your collection. So when I smell it, I was like, ah, uh, meh, who owns it now? I heard someone describe this as a strawberry milkshake in a perfume form and they were totally correct. It's very sweet, it's creamy, it's lactonic, but the dominant notes here for me is definitely the strawberry and the vanilla. The vanilla here is also very light, fluffy and airy. It's like imagine a whipped texture sort of vanilla, like a whipped cream of vanilla. It smells very pink, very ladylike, very soft. And this is one that has great longevity and projection. And it's another one that you don't think is doing anything, but it is doing something because you do get compliments on this perfume. I love layering it with other sweet scents like Boardwalk Delight from Skylo, adding some fruitiness to it with Kaoli's Eden Juicy Apple. You smell so amazing. But bury her elixir sun kiss dahlia by skylar this is a fruity floral that smells fresh and refreshing from that apple in the opening it also has dahlia and amber which are the main notes there are other notes but the apple the dahlia and the amber are the main notes of this perfume it's very juicy in the opening from the apple but as it dries down you get more of the florals and the dahlia the dahlia note adds this warmth to the perfume as well like, it's radiant and glowing <laughs> it's the perfect name for the perfume it's sweet but it still maintains that freshness throughout the wear of the perfume. I mean, this is not a groundbreaking perfume, but it's a nice scent and it's an easy reach and it's crowd pleasing. Skyla is also a clean fragrance house for those of you who are into that, who are interested in it, who probably have issues with perfumes affecting your skin or whatever the case is. Skyla is a brand to look into. The majority of them do not tend to last well. The fruity ones there are some that last pretty well but this one you get about three hours of wear. So one you definitely have to reapply or pick and choose when you actually want to wear it like maybe just to run errands so that you will actually last if it's three hours you're outside running errands or maybe going to the gym or something like that but it's just a nice easy reach crowd pleasing perfume something you don't have to think about so we have sun kiss dahlia by skylar and there you have it i mean i could do a third video of my spring perfumes but we are not we're gonna stop here so again check the description box for all the links on my social media please subscribe and hit the bell for all we are trying to reach the masses out here and while you are here check out some of these videos bye